How long am I supposed to wear this for? Good morning guys, it's Jacqueline. I'm starting out my day with one of my favorite humans, Maggie. Uh, We've got really good breakfast that's going on. What do you have again? Kimchi kanji, what is it called? I don't know, it looks- No, there's kimchi in it. Oh, I don't know. I you ate it before. I forget, I forget, it looks good though. I don't know, it's like some like savory breakfast. And then I've got like a little smoothie bowl going on here. Your green juice, your health. Oh, I don't want you to leave today, don't leave me. So I gotta catch a bus in half an hour. lunch with Megan so now I'm here at the bite beauty lab and I'm so excited so basically we're gonna be making lipsticks today and like making your own custom colors like are you kidding me I'm so excited and look who is here Amanda we're back re we're reunited after one day apart <laughs> I'm so excited though like look at all of there are so many beautiful products here let me show you Time, you might as well create the perfect nude. Exactly. But I, I also like, feel like I was like, we can create any color we want, and we're gonna go for nude. I know we're so boring. boring. But, but the thing is, you can like you can create any color, literally anything. But I want to make sure it's something that I'm gonna be able to wear every day. You know? yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so for color, I'm definitely thinking a neutral. I like very brown-based nudes. Very much on the natural side, or you want something that's a bit natural, like kind of like natural brown. Okay. Like, kind of like posh spice. Okay, so a bit contemporary. <laughs> sure. Yes. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking a little bit of the base from our Cuvée finished lipstick, and I'm going to add some different colors in order to make a swatch of lipstick. Once you try it on, you can give me some direction. You can tell me it's too dark, it's too light. This feels so nice. So I definitely like this formula. I think the color, I want it to have maybe a bit more warmth to it, like a bit more. Um, I brought out my favorite um, lip liner that I've been using. So I said, let's go for a color like this because I know this is the shade that I want. So she's kind of doing like a shade match. It's really cool. So you can even bring in like discontinued lipsticks that aren't even created by Bite and be like, this is the color that I like, but I can't buy it anymore. And they can make it. Like, how cool is that? Jacqueline, is this the one? This is the one. I need to call my mom. <laughs> this is like my moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. It's perfect. Is it? This is literally oh, it. Really? This is it. Are you saying this yes is, to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to how far off this was from what I started with. I was like originally a new natural, my lips put better kind of color, and it turned into this. You just need some better adjectives. <laughs> I just need to expand my vocabulary. So you guys can't smell it. But maybe 2020? Oh, that's like the same color. Is it actually the like same? very, very, very close? <laughs> this is what I was wearing when I walked in. It's so similar. Yeah, it's just not matte. He'll know when you know, you know. He'll know when you know. Indecisive knows what she wants in life. Indecisive knows what she wants. This is so cool. Okay, so the colors are decided. We're gonna pick out the fragrance for our lipstick. What are you thinking? We've got lots of options. There, okay, do you want me to read them? Read them, read them out. Wild berry, violet, vanilla, lime, cherry, citrus mango, coconut, mint, and fresh citrus matte. You want to know what I'm kind of thinking? I love vanilla, but vanilla is very vanilla. But I think vanilla mint might be really nice because it'll be refreshing. And I'm not a huge mint person, but if it has to do with like the teeth, the mouth, like I think mint will be nice. Oh my god. Good? Oh my god. 
visit Amanda. So good. So we went to Fresh, we got some food. We wanted to warm up because it is literally freezing outside right now. You're gonna like it. Yeah? Okay, so we also ordered a buffalo ranch wrap that looks to die for. And of course, the classic quinoa onion rings. Are you excited? Okay, so we just had a very fun afternoon. We got lunch, lattes, and we smelled candles. And we just were smelling candles in the store for like 20 minutes. <laughs> very cute store, what was it called? Yummy. Yummy candles, not being sponsored. Just, no. just randomly found this. Um, anyways, we're gonna run back. We're gonna go to my place because you left half of your clothes and your entire wardrobe yeah, at my place. I'm kind of naked from the waist down right now. <laughs> no, um, she left her shoes at my place. So I was silly and I forgot to bring them to bite today when I met her. So we're gonna head back to my place and then I guess the night is still young. Who knows the future, the future. Oh, oh my goodness. Stay tuned. Okay, so I just got back home and I wanted to swatch some of the lipsticks that I already own to the color that I just made at the Bite Lab. Oh, and I think I was calling it the Bite Beauty Lab all day. It's definitely not called that. It's the Bite Lip Lab. Um, anyway, so I have some of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here. I've got Berry Victoria, which is more of like a brown kind of color, and then Stone Rose, which is more of like a coral kind of neutrally pink color. Let me swatch some and show you. But basically, it's like these two colors, if they were to have a baby, it would be the color that I just made at Bite. Okay, so here are the colors swatched. So at the top there, that's uh, Charlotte Tilbury Stoned Rose. And then in the middle, that's the color that I made at Bite. And then the one at the very bottom is Very Victoria. So it's really interesting how they all look so similar. Like in this lighting, it's almost even hard to tell them apart. But I'm pretty sure the Bite color that I made is like the perfect baby of both of those Charlotte Tilbury colors. So I'm super excited to have it. I'm like, uh, I'm so in love with the color that I made and I'm really happy that I ended up deciding to go with this one. So I don't know about you guys, but I would say that was a success. But all this talk about lips and lipstick, I have this um, lip mask that I wanted to try out. It kind of seems gimmicky. I see like all the people on like Instagram doing it. This is the Cherry Cherry Lips Modeling Gel Patch from the Face Shop. So I thought I would do a little uh, first impressions and pop it on right now. I mean, right off the bat, I feel like this is like extremely large for, for my lips, but we'll see how this works. Ooh. This is like really slimy. Oh no. I dropped it on the ground. Oh my god, it's sticking. This is literally the strangest. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on my mouth. What the heck? <laughs> like, what is this? Maybe I'm supposed to like lay down and put this on. But like, look at guys, it's like so like thin. My finger's just like breaking right through it. It's like falling apart. How long am I supposed to wear this for? Okay, that's enough of that. I'm gonna say that was a fail. Don't think it was for me. I don't know about you. I made a mess all over my floor and this is like very broken. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think I like that. I mean, I didn't hate it. It was an experience. Can't say that it was my favorite thing I've ever done. Okay, so I think that just about wraps up today's video. I'm just gonna go make some dinner and do some work and just chill out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was a bunch of fun. I honestly loved going into Bite and making those lip colors. Like that was so cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I hope you guys are enjoying Vidmas so far and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Too dry, like my skin is really dry right now, so it just like would hurt. I